Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So for anyone that's not in the UK right now, we are going through a heat wave over here and it's hot as balls. And the worst part is I've had to turn the fan off for this video because the microphone kept picking up the sound. But it's not too bad, I do have my drink. I am covering up the brand because I'm not going to advertise a brand that isn't going to pay me, alright? <laughs> but if you couldn't tell from the cup, it does rhyme with which one else. But anyway, I'm not a person to suffer alone, so I'm dragging my sims along for the ride. And we are all going to sweat together. So if you didn't already know, you could use testing cheats in The Sims 3 to set the temperature of the world. So I'm going to set the temperature to as high as it can possibly go. And that makes it so hot that sims just randomly combust if they spend too much time outside. So I'm going to make four sims and leave autonomy on high. We're going to see how high I can get each one of their respective career ladders without them all burning to death. So I basically just want to see who lasts the longest. But I'm feeling evil and sweaty, so let's jump into it. So I do keep going back to Sunset Valley every single time I play because I can't get over the nostalgia of it. But I think Appaloosa Plains looks most like a place where it's going to be hot. And it's a world that I never really use. So let's do that. This is probably just going to be another video of me not knowing where anything is. So <laughs> I hope you're prepared for that. So I'm just going to go with completely random sims for this. So this beautiful man is sweating hell. We've got Fookin Fahrenheit, then smoking Celsius, the only real unit of measurement. And last but not least, we've got Boiling as Vuk. Who apparently loves the heat, so maybe she actually will live longer than the rest. Who knows, she was the only person I checked the traits of. Okay, where can we live? Because there's four of us, and all of the starter homes are pretty shit. Screw it, we'll just cheat it. Right, we'll make summer long as fuck, and we're good to go. This isn't a bad little house, to be fair. I'm not gonna set your beds, you can all choose where you sleep. I don't want to do it. But, what I do wanna do, seasons. Set temperature. Enter temperature in Fahrenheit. Positive numbers only. I don't understand Fahrenheit, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Can I just put like, a thousand? This might be too high. It is a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, she's doing fine. She doesn't have any mood let's say and she's too hot. So maybe this is okay. We're gonna have to brave the hot weather outside. We're gonna go get jobs. Sweating ale, what would you be good at? Not customer service because I don't think anyone wants to see this first. No offense, pal. You can do something back office. Well, I'm trying to find him something back office to do, but I can't see where the business lot is. Oh, it's there. Go join the business career. Boiling, what would you be good at? You give off a very strange vibe, I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe you'd be a good teacher. You look like you'd be one of those weird teachers that are really good with kids for some reason. Join education. Who can Fahrenheit? Oh, I don't want to judge you too harshly, but you look like a nerd to me. Science it is. And then smirking Celsius. I honestly, I don't know what you'd be. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just give you a job. Do you know what, smirking? I want you to be a criminal. Go join. He's already cooling himself down. Sweating Hill's having a lovely time outside. Boiling was clearly so obsessed with that book that she took it with her, but good for you as well, girl. Improve yourself. So far, the ladies are losing in this playthrough. They look pretty boring. What are you up to? Playing on your phone. Okay, I guess everyone's boring apart from sweaty now. No one seems too hot yet. Put that fucking book away. Why is everybody reading? <laughs> Boiling's been smart about it. She's gone home. Hookin's on the way home. Smirkin apparently has been at home for ages. Listen to accusation. What is going on? Why is the drama already? Why are you dressed like that? You were a science woman two minutes ago. Now you're hot as fuck. Literally. Accused of being a diva. What's wrong with her traits? She's a diva. Oh, well, I feel like you're projecting a little bit here, to be honest. Okay, Boiling doesn't need any skills for her job. Fookin needs gardening, but I can't be bothered. Athletic, we can do. Let's get you working out in front of that TV. Fookin, stop being a prick to me. Oh, I'm talking about heat. Everyone's talking about heat. It's fucking boiling, isn't it? Working wants to stay up past bedtime. You are a grown man. You can literally do what you want. So I've reached the end of day one. Let's get everyone clean and ready for bed. I mean, this guy wants to stay up past bedtime, doesn't he? So you go watch TV. But everyone else, are you taking yourself to bed? You are so good, all of you. Well done, guys. I always feel bad that one of you or all of you are probably going to burn soon. Oh, and it's 538 degrees Celsius outside. <laughs> Hold on. I want to check something. Temperature of mercury. Yeah, it's three quarters as hot as it is on the planet Mercury. Great. <laughs> They're fine. Everyone's fine. She's got a couple of hours before her first day at work and she's just chilling. I would be in waiting mode because there's nothing I can do in the gap between appointments. So I wouldn't be reading a book. I'd be sat staring at the roof until it was time to leave. Why is everyone so relaxed? You should all be shitting yourself about your first day. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Oh, the summer festival's arrived in town. Join your friends for long days packed with excitement under the warm sun. The fucking boiling sun, more like. Well, I know what we're all doing after work. All right, well, I'm going to let you suck up to the boss. Let's get you all promoted by being absolute creeps. You've not even got there to work yet, but you can grovel to the leader when you get there. In we go. Not as high tech as the one in Sunset Valley, just going to say. 
Okay, so Sweating Ale's got an opportunity. The board has drafted a report on quarterly revenue earning potential for their business partners at the hospital. Quickly deliver this report to the hospital and your superiors will make sure you're given a compensatory raise. You know what? I hate doing things, but I will do this. I want you all to do great at your jobs. But then I want you all to go to the park. Where is the park? That is a graveyard. So where am I going? <laughs> all of you can get down here for some summer fun. Oh, but paid like shit. Teachers deserve the world. Why are we paid like this? We. <laughs> One day at a virtual school and I'm, I'm with you. I stand with you, teachers. Right. I've delivered the dossier. For a one simoleon raise! What a shit job. Get me to that summer festival now. I need a break. Oh, we're all here. A water balloon fight is perfect for us to cool down. Come on, everyone. Let's do it before we all set on fire. All right, smirking has left work. You go join. Somehow you'd know your friends are there. Go see them. Christ, you got... <laughs> Absolutely nailed. Okay, time for you all to stop. You're having too much fun and you're not even risking yourself being set on fire. Speaking of setting on fire, launch all of these fireworks. If you want to get a better view of the fireworks, try going to map view. Okay. Wow, yeah. <laughs> you were right. That was really, really good. Did that just not set off or have I been too quick here? Ah, oh, shit. All right, I'm missing it. Okay, that was pretty cool. The fact it was a snowflake feels like a real slap in the face to everyone who's burning down there, but it was cool. Okay, I'm going to leave you to that. <laughs> Fucking hell, what is going on? Why is it so loud? Okay, Fukin, one, you can't bounce for shit. Two, you're just getting yourself too hot. Oh, what's going on here then? Oh, well, we ruined it. Cool. You are really ruining the mood here. I know I made you do this, but come on. Okay, I'm going to ruin your two relationships because you're getting too close. Uh, go and have a snow cone because I feel like you might die soon. I don't know if it does get rid of a getting warm moodlet. A little heat never hurts. I remind you it is 538 degrees Celsius right now. Oh, what? I can never get the eating contest to work. Why is everyone doing it? I guess I'll just watch. I can't join in. Oh, those two are in it. Krevlon Milraw. Oh, Fukin, you can put it away for a skinny girl. Okay, yeah. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. She just <laughs> regurgitated everything. Yes, look at that. Clear play. Okay, well, uh, you've just embarrassed me there. You've there was nothing on there. Do I get anything for winning? <laughs> Other than being a very ungracious winner, what do I get? <laughs> Fukin is top dog in this eating competition. She won a week's supply of hot dogs and bragging rights. Okay, treat yourself to a little spray tan while you're here. You didn't win any money, but spend that money. You're gonna look so good. I don't know how you're not tanned already. You should be like charcoal by now. Looking. <laughs> Uh, actually kind of looking sick, but you look good. Oh yeah, take a look at Fukin, the queen of summer. <laughs> Smoking is on the way home. Fukin is also on the way home. Okay, probably a good thing. She is sweating profusely. Fukin is sweating like a snake at a bake sale or like one of those snappy colloquialisms. Head inside if you don't want to get burned. Even worse. Am I burnt? I've just got a really nice baked tan. How fucking dare you, Moodlet? Okay, uh, let's... <laughs> let's quickly deal with this. Who's not busy? You flush the toilet. Don't clean the toilet. We don't have time for that. All right, put her out. Are you brushing your teeth? Who are you calling? Oh, now is not the time. <laughs> Do not rush. She's absolutely fine. Stop laughing. If you <laughs> if you don't do anything, you are a murderer too. Put her out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why did he not care? Why did he leave it to the last minute? <laughs> Hukin, I know you've had a tough time, but you've got work. Poor gal, she didn't even have time to sit down and eat whatever that food was. She's going to work. She's not even getting changed. Honestly, you look so good anyway. The kids at school are going to love this. Oh, wait, she's a scientist. So technically she sets off on fire for science. The Boiling's been promoted to a teacher's aid. Good for you, Boiling. You deserve that. But you're not going home because then where is the risk of spontaneous combustion? You can go to the grocery store and buy a lotto ticket right now <laughs> because I don't know what else to do with you. You're not going home either, Fukin. I mean, you are exhausted. <laughs> Can we go sleep on a bench somewhere? You hmm. poor thing. You are not having a good day, are you? But then you shouldn't have stayed up all night rollerblading, should you really? So I guess it's your own fault. Okay, it's only smoking that's still at work, but he's pretty much done. I'm going to see if he can handle a jog all the way across town, even though it's fucking boiling out. <laughs> this is cute. Just walking your cat to uh, the local cartel. 
Why is this such a happening spot? This is meant to be a secret place. <laughs> oh, smoking got promoted to. We are a cut purse. So we definitely need to work on our athletic skill. And he wants to, so this isn't me being sadistic and trying to kill him. He wants to go for a run, all right? Let's go to the furthest place away we can. To the beach. Once you've run all the way over here, you can have a sit down there. That'll be nice for you, won't it? I think this is going to take a very long time. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it to the beach before he's too tired. We are going at such a rapid pace. We've been going for like an hour and we can still see where we were. How are you beating me? <laughs> where are you going, you fast as fuck boy? Right, he's too fatigued. Now he's <laughs> immediately going to complain about exercise to the first fucking person he can find. You've got fatigued once in your life. What are you mad about? Now, time to use my newfound strength. <laughs> Let's kick this guy out, even though I am tired, so I might lose. That was pretty quick, actually. Now get out of here. Next time I have a complaint, you better take it seriously. Okay, everyone else is fast asleep. Answer that. <laughs> get up. Pookin, you've had such an easy life thus far. Get up and answer the phone. <laughs> You've not even showered. Your sheets are going to be disgusting. I'm just going to have a quick drink. Yeah, drink away the pain. I'm not going to shower yet. I'm going to let you decide when to get a shower. I wish it was soon, but it's your business. Okay, everyone's at work again. We're all doing quite good at our jobs. Well, Pookin's doing fine, but... Could be worse. Why are you still here? <laughs> you've been here all night and you're boiling, starving and knackered. Oh, okay. I mean, I saw it coming. I didn't think it was going to happen that quick. Who can leave work? I'm being too relaxed. Who's the worst at the job? Oh, it's fine. The rain put it out. Chill out. The rain served you. You're fine. <laughs> What? This guy has nothing going for him. Crystal McAdams wants to know if Sweatedale would like to go on a date. Yes. I can't remember who either of those people are, and I know one of them's mine. Why are you still here, girl? Um, I don't even know if he deserves to uh, <laughs> to be put out. This is the last time I help anyone. Why are you all so relaxed about it? Stop smiling like that. <laughs> you still got time, I think. I think he fell asleep instead of burning alive. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't you act shocked. You're the reason he's dead. I'll have a water balloon fight with the Grim Reaper. That will stop him from uh, <laughs> taking away my friend. <laughs> this seems fair. You might cry the whole time. Well, Boiling, I'm going to be honest with you. That's really turned me off you. But let's go deal with Sweating L's date because it doesn't look like he's spoken to her once. I'll make this date worth your while because this has been terrible for you so far. I'm very sorry. There you are. I'll surround you with heat lamps because clearly it's not warm enough here. Don't leave. I've just... I mean, how do you even know he's dead? You weren't there. Don't leave. I've put all the lamps here for a reason. Heat of the moment, Kiss. Let's just go for it. It's far too soon. She's going to be mad. Maybe not. I guess Sweatin's about to have a great day. I'm going to do all of these slight interactions and then I'm going to make it weird by confessing to watching you while you sleep. Yeah, okay. I didn't think she'd like it, but she still thinks I'm just okay. She doesn't think I'm creepy or anything. She's gone into the tavern, but I don't think I can. Oh, well, I'll make friends with this dog instead. Oh, you put the dog down. Oh, I'm on fire. That's worse. Um, <laughs> I'm, I don't care though, apparently. On fire. Contrary to popular belief, being on fire is not healthy and can lead to symptoms including panic, burns, and death. But why am I so okay with it? Oh, I'm a daredevil. Your sim loves fire but can extinguish it quickly in emergencies. Can I extinguish myself? No. Okay. So what do I do? <laughs> um, as much as I love being on fire, apparently. Oh. Put out self. I need to go to a shower. That makes more sense. Well, this... Okay. Maybe he's not enjoying it that much. That should mean he's pretty safe throughout the rest of this playthrough, to be fair. Good for you, Sweaty Nell. Is anyone else a daredevil, though? I can't be having everyone staying alive, you know? Loves to swim. Do you know what? After work tomorrow, you can go for a little swim in the sea since you love it so much. I haven't let you go swimming once. Sweaty Nell is having a nightmare. He also needs to go to the beach, too. We all need to unwind. You get out here and snorkel as well. I'm quite, I mean, you've, I feel like you've missed the object of swimming there. <laughs> Why did you take a taxi boat? See, she loves it. Sims with the loves to swim trick can't get enough of being in cool waters. So you're not even going to set on fire the pair of you. That's good, isn't it? I'm going to be honest. The Sims aren't burning as much as I thought they would. I mean, I'm not trying to burn them, but now that's why they're in the water. But I did this before and everyone around me was just setting on fire. I want to see what happens if I make it so much hotter. 10,000 Fahrenheit, which is 5,538 degrees Celsius. Everyone doing all right? You look very, very chilled right now. Not boiling at all. 
Okay, they both learned how to scuba dive. She's still getting warm, even though she's in the water. But then again, I mean, it is 5,000 degrees, so the likelihood is this water is... Well, technically, it shouldn't be there, should it? It, <laughs> it would have evaporated away completely. Stop getting a boat everywhere. You love to swim. <laughs> Stop proving yourself wrong. So boiling's not even warm. Fuking is sweating profusely, but she was just warm. I mean, sweating is sweating also, but he he's chilled. He doesn't even... <laughs> the heat doesn't bother him, apparently. Let me just try one more temperature jump. 100,000. Yeah, so it's 55,000 degrees Celsius. But everyone's okay. Cool, I just found a walksmith cane. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. You've nicked that from an old man. Hey, wow, this would be nice for your birth, will it? Nothing like a bit of 20 past two in the morning sunbathing. Okay, well, there we go. I knew it'd happen eventually. Sweating L is all the way back home. And he's crying again. Get over it. Your friend died like 24 hours ago. Can he make it to the beach in time to put out his burning friend? <laughs> Probably not, but it'll be nice if he can. Okay, that timer is flying down. Where is he? He's just left the house. Okay. Fookin, I hate to break it to you, but this is exactly how I feel right now. She don't give a fuck. She's gone. <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> well, again, stop acting shocks. You've killed all of these people. I mean, I killed all of these people. You're also too late. Oh, Christ, that actually made me jump. <laughs> Go on then, cue the waterworks. I just don't believe yet. That's too well timed. Again, stop. <laughs> it's in unison. Okay, Boiling is starting to sweat, which is not the mood look that everyone else got, but it could be because she loves the heat. And I know it's weird because we've always been friends, but give a kiss. <laughs> this guy gets all the ladies. Let's kiss next to our dead friend's grave. Oh, I got sunburned, but then I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> Yes, not at all inappropriate. This is what you want to see. When I die, I want my friends to do things like this. <laughs> Stop laughing at her. She's crying about a dead friend. That's really inappropriate. I'm going to set the temperature up to 1 million degrees Fahrenheit, which is 550, 500, 538 degrees Celsius. There we go. Okay, she can burn. <laughs> it just takes fucking forever, apparently. Yeah, sweating hell. Don't worry about it. You just watch. No one cares. You realise you're also an accomplice if you don't help. You don't need to be sad anymore. You've gone to... And it got rid of some burn, apparently. You all right? <laughs> I don't know what happened to you. Oh, now I'm on fire. Are you still on fire? Why are taxi drivers taking you in the cars? I get rejected if I'm a bit drunk and you can be literally on fire and you still get a lift. Oh, if I don't put myself out, the fire just puts itself out. So I guess there's only one way to end it. I mean, this is what I've needed the last few days. It has been so hot. But there we go. A happy ending <laughs> to a very happy video. I'm going to be honest, that has made me feel so much better about the heat. I don't know what a therapist would have to say about that, but I do not have time for it, all right? I feel better. So thanks for joining me on another one today. There's plenty more like this on the channel if you do want to watch. If you don't subscribe already, please do. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.